Long time coming, yep. Yes, something we do in real life, but just wanted to meet people live, social media, where a lot of people are hanging out these days, especially Absolutely. COVID. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. It's COVID. So I'm, like, I'm relaunching in a sense, or the ministry, Healing for Your Soul Ministries. I'm glad you joined me um, online. Absolutely. And there's people mm-hmm. that still shut in. There's people that yes. are going out. So, you know, wherever yes, we bring yes. the gospel, <laughs> that's what we bring yes. the gospel. And that's We're why I'm bring gonna think about the good news, really good news. Yes. Really, 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 really good news. <clears throat> All right, honey. <clears throat> oh my God, the good news, I thought it'd be so great to be a first message to talk about. Just like Absolutely. opening up the church, right? I mean, everybody tell Absolutely. everybody to come. Compel those to come <laughs> to Jesus. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, um, you want to open us up in prayer? Okay, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, for this time and this season. Yes. You've given us, O oh Lord God, the gift, the Lord God, to speak, to open our mouths, O oh Lord, to allow you to speak through us, O oh God. We pray for the listeners to hear, to yes. receive, O oh God, and be be saved on today, Lord God, and be healed and made whole, Lord God, based on what you've already done. Yes. Calvary's cost, and thank you, Lord, that is done in Jesus' name. And we yes. go forth and make it happen to the people as they see Jesus in this meeting. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Yes, amen, 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 amen. Let the anointing come, Father. Amen. amen. In yes, Jesus' right. name. Heal somebody, deliver somebody, save somebody, uh, yes. restore somebody, uplift yes. somebody, everything. Yes. He's a restorer, <clears throat> a repairer mm-hmm. of the, the breach and the streets they dwell the in. You know, he's yes. a redeemer. Absolutely. He's everything. And that's why I want to talk about him today because, you know, we go through stuff, sometimes we forget, or some people don't know. You know, they don't yes. know to reach out to God. A lot of people are suffering because they just don't know that Jesus is the answer. Even when we leave yes, the yes. earth, Jesus is the answer because God sent him and everything he does. And that's what I want to read about. I guess today will be my turn. <laughs> and we'll take okay. you read about Jesus just a little bit, Isaiah, but just everything that he came to do in his will and his purpose. And how God mm. how he said that the father prepared, prepared a place for us. If it were not so, we yes. have told you this. And so he comes yes. to redeem us, reconcile us back to the Father, right? Yes, so then we can absolutely. We inherit his kingdom, which is for all of us who receive him. And you know what? It's so easy to just say, yes, Lord, receive him, coming to know him, and then taking it from there. It's a journey. We don't get it over it's a journey. It's like We continue yeah. to be perfected. We continue to grow until the day of Christ. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. You know, uh, you know um, as a matter of fact, that's what my second scripture is that I'm going to share um, today. It tells us to walk worthy of the Lord wow. and, and all pleasing. Now, the pleasing part comes in with based on I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself because that's I got fine. my scriptures already set up. Right, right. But it just talks about what we love about it is that grace is available. Yes. All those who are saved immediately, you don't do an immediate flip. You don't turn automatic, automatically 180. Right. There's grace involved in that because you can't do it because it's growth, it's process, it's it's right. it's God is dealing with us on a daily basis. And so when he tells us to walk pleasing unto the Lord, that means to yield ourselves to the change that God is going to make in us. Amen. It also tells us that God is going to make us into new creatures. Amen. So that's but I'll get into that after you bring your scripture. I'm gonna talk more about I like that. that. I was and, like <laughs> you know, that, that's basic. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah. And since it's getting a little mm-hmm. dark, I think I'm gonna have to turn on this light because it's the okay. kind of shade, the sun goes in and out type thing, as long as it's not too much of a glare. Yeah, I just want to read yes. Isaiah a little bit because that's what came to me. Isaiah 53. Okay. As a reminder, <clears throat> first of all, mm-hmm. when I talk about Jesus being a redeemer and Jesus being a kinsman redeemer, and we know the word yeah. kin means relate, relative. Yes. And so Absolutely. in order to relate. You have to be among certain people. You have to be part of the experience. You don't have to actually go through everything they have gone through, which is great to do in a sense where it's going to be used for God's glory because we know all things work together for the good to them who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. However, just to give a real natural experience, even when it comes to like, you know, I hear me talk a lot about trauma. A lot of people don't realize, even though maybe you saw, say something bad happened to a person, an incident, maybe somebody got shot or something like that, even though it wasn't mm-hmm. you that got shot, if you seen it and heard it, it can still affect your senses just as just the same as the person who actually got shot, you know, or went through that Absolutely. particular traumatic experience. And you can Absolutely. also experience PTSD, <clears throat> anxiety, 
and trauma from that because now it's in your system. It went through your eye gates, yes. gates which that could be something we talk about later. That's why we got to be careful what we watch, what we hear, what we allow yes. to come to our spirit. But yes. Jesus, we know God sent him down. He dwelt among man, humanity, and he understood them more. And the Bible talks about him being moved by the spirit of compassion. Well, you have yes. compassion and a higher level of in emotional intelligence because you mm -hmm. are around people. You understand. You see the experience. So Jesus dwelt among us. and But he went through his own stuff, right? Re yes. Rejected, despised, yes. hated on, spat on, through, um, sent out of cities, all of yes. that stuff. So. That's why he is a high priest who can be touched, yes. who can be moved, who is empathetic to our issues and the issues that we do. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to read Isaiah because it, it reminds us of that. This man, mm -hmm. in other words, he was acquainted with our human experience, mm -hmm. even though he was the son of man. Yes, he was. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit of Isaiah 53. Who has believed okay. our report? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall, now you know it's prophetic. We know that Isaiah, guys, for those of you who don't know, is a major prophet, right, honey? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Right. Isaiah's a major, he's a prophet. And so God was speaking prophetically, but he was speaking about Jesus to come without getting too deep into it right mm -hmm. now. I'm not doing a teaching, teaching per se, but um, right. he was the Messiah to come. Yeshua yes. HaMashiach, Jesus, the yes, Christ of Nazareth to mm -hmm. come. And so I was talking about that. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And as a root out of a dry ground, he has no form, no comeliness. And when we mm -hmm. shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. That's not saying that Jesus is going to look ugly. <laughs> but <laughs> the thing is, it's not going to be because of his countenance and he's looking like he's all that fine, bag of chips, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so it's not right, about right. that, it's deeper. But anyway, he is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted mm -hmm. with grief, acquainted with mm -hmm. grief, guys. And yes. we yes. hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not mm -hmm. acquainted, familiar. Surely yes. he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did mm. esteem him. We did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Because mm. people are think, you know, yes. go through certain things. You're being punished, yes. or you're being afflicted, or, or, or God is doing something to you. Um, but he was wounded, but he had to go through that for us. That's why I was I was thinking about subtitling it. He did it for us, though. Yes, yes. Us. Um, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace. He was chastised for our peace. <laughs> our peace. God. Yes. Hallelujah. Our peace upon <laughs> him. And with yes. his stripes, we are healed. All yes. we are like sheep have gone astray. Because sheep do yes. that, right? From time to time. Yes. They, they have a, a, person, a character uh, that says they sometimes they wander off. And they may they not do. stay with the flock. Mm -hmm. Some of us wander off. We deter. We don't stay. So we backslide. Yeah. We come back. Some, they go yes. way out. But Jesus cares about even the one that go way out. But this one, like sheep yes. are. And so yes. it says we've gone astray and we have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he was oppressed. We ain't finished yet. He was oppressed. He was afflicted. <clears throat> yet he yes. opened his, not his mouth. Why yes. he open his mouth? You know what? I perceive that he didn't open his mouth because there was nothing else to say. It was all in the action. You, you can't. You, you can't really give a justification for sin. Right. You either sin or you don't. Right. So he had to take the punishment thereof. He knew. To carry it out. That was his purpose. He knew. He knew. He knew. That was his, his purpose. purpose. Now he said a little something on the cross because you got that human side. But then at the end, again, snap right back. That's, I'm going to have right back. Nevertheless, Lord, not my will. That's it. So I love that because it shows the human side. You're being tortured. It did. <laughs> it did. It did. So he... he Open not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. Mm. And you know, in the Old Testament, we had to get them sheep and lambs and goats for the atonement of our sins to repent. Yes, we did. Jesus became all of this. 
and mm -hmm. you can see the sacrificial lamb, Jesus, the lamb of God. I'm like, mm, okay, all of that. Absolutely. And his sheep before his shearers is dumb and he opened mm -hmm. not his mouth. Come on, mm -hmm. somebody. He was taken from prison. I ain't finished yet. He was Come taken on. from prison from judgment. And yes. who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the mm -hmm. transgression of my people was he stricken. Dying right. for us. He made his grave with <clears throat> the wicked. This is the son mm -hmm. of God. Yes. yes. And with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence. Yes. Innocent. Neither was any deceit in his mouth. I'm going to end right. it in mm -hmm. the 10th verse. Yet it pleased the Lord God to bruise him. Oof. He had mm. put him to grief. When thou shalt yes. make his soul an offering for sin. Who sinned? Yes. Yes. Who had no sin. My sin. Who did no sin. <laughs> right. Yes. He shall right. see his seed. He shall prolong his days. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Yes. But yes, but the Messiah to come, the one who the Lord promised to restore his people. His yes. For all of his people, not just the Jews. It was the Jews first because they was God's chosen, but it was to anybody yes. who believed. Yes. So I, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I, I love the part where it says it pleased the Lord to bruise him. My God. I, Why did it please the Lord to bruise him? Because he thought of the benefit of the lost people, which is us. Right. He thought of us, even though sending his son through that that right. terrible, harsh, unforgiving yes. ordeal that he went through. Right. Yet it pleased God because the benefit was we with Christ again, we with Jesus again, we with God again. Yes. So that alone right there is a blessing just to hear that part that we we were at that point, why were we at sinners? Christ died for the ungodly. Yes. And it repositioned us. It repositioned yes. us. Yes. So we have a lot to thank God for on that yes. part. Amen. Yes. Jesus, that's right. That's right. Wow. And I like how when you go into the New Testament, he's reinduced again. Now he's breaking down all yes. the generations. And I'm not gonna read all that, yeah. but about Matthew. Matthew meaning the gift of God, but it breaks down all the ge genealogy bringing you down and yes. reminding us who Jesus Christ is, the Christ, the, the Messiah, the anointed one, Yeshua. Yes. And um, and Matthew gospel explains Christ as a fulfillment of the law, fulfilled. Yes. I'm going to get into that now. Fulfillment of the law Amen. and the Amen. prophets and quotes and references from the Old Testament. And so I was, I was thinking about that, how we always, you know, we start at Matthew accounts and just, it just mm -hmm. really breaks down. And again, the reason why I brought this up, people who are listening is because mm -hmm. again, to some of you, we're introducing Christ, Christ. And this is really a quick one. This is not a, because we can take hours and hours of hours to really break down Jesus to come. We can go really back, could. way further really back could. in the Old yeah. Testament, break it on down. Yeah. But yeah. I just want to give you an idea how he was he was prophesied to come in the Old Testament. Yes. And so in the New Testament, yes, now you get all the, looking in synoptic gospels, you see the accounts from Matthew's recall, uh, Matthew, yes. Mark, Luke, John, mm -hmm. you know, recall of Jesus and the experience with him. And so it, it goes again, starts from the genealogy. So in the generation of Jesus Christ, and it brings it up to date. And then we get yes, into it does. the ministry of Jesus. Then we get into when he goes back to be with the father, it goes into when he yes. died for us on the cross, he ascended, yes. but then the father sent yes. the comforter, which is the Holy spirit to live in us right. with the spirit of God, Jesus, mm -hmm. and given us power yes. to live this life. And so everything that he's gone through, he did it for us. He experienced he it for so us. much. He, he carried, he carried and bore sickness and yes. disease. And that's why when yes. we say um, God already, Jesus already did it on the cross. All you have to do is receive what he has already done. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Cheryl's Get Your Life Back podcast. Now, really, this particular episode is not going to be a podcast per se, but I want to talk about my new line of t-shirts, Celebrate My God Collection. Now, I already have Get Your Life Back shop, right? But I added a new line of collection for those of you who are like me who want to celebrate your God. Amen, somebody? So if you want to get your t-shirt, and I have some more, ah, I have a dope God. 
What am I saying, honey? Serve. I serve a dope guy. Look at that. Period. All right. Right. If you want to get some of these t-shirts and you want to sport it as well, especially this summer, go to Get Your Life Back Shop. Now, what happens is I'm going to have the link in my bio and the description box as well as on this video so you can go right to the shop and get your own shirt. And if you do get the shirt, comment under my YouTube channel or Instagram account or something and tag me so I can see that you're sporting it as well. See you later, guys. God bless. It's done. Yes. It's written. He fulfilled the old law. When you had to do yes. so many things to just to, to repent. To <clears throat> yes. And if you just receive, that's what we say. We plead the blood. The blood that Jesus shed. That's what pleading yes. the blood means. I'm not, what that? Plead the blood. Plead the blood. It's like <laughs> the blood that Jesus shed for us. He shed it for our healing, our deliverance, yes. our salvation. Yes. So all we have to yes. do is, is remember that and receive what he done. And God, you did it for me. It's his righteousness that covers us and covers our sins. Because our righteousness yes. is, is, is dirty. It's, it's filthy. Yeah, and we don't it, do it, it right. Make. We would never do we it do right it. all the time. We would never cross every T and dot every I. We would never do that. Right. So we need, we needed the Lamb of God to do that for yes. us. Yes. You know, that makes me think about Pastor Cheryl, the, the 20th chapter of Matthew, where the angel uh, was at the tomb of Jesus and Mary Magdalene went to look for Jesus. Yes. And the, the, the angel said to him, uh, he is risen. Right. He is risen. He is risen. And that's a very powerful statement because in your situation, because Christ has risen, that means you right. have, a, have risen as well. So whatever your, whatever situation that we deal with in life, no matter how negative, how bad, whether it's, it's sickness or disease, anything of that matter, the fact is he is risen. So when he rises, you rise. Amen. So when everything that was negative Mm. A part of life, when Christ rose, he left it in the grave. Mm. So you don't have to deal with it. You don't have wow. to contend with it. Your statement is, because Christ has risen, I have I have risen. Yes. So I love that part about that wow. because it basically it's talked about healing and deliverance. We don't have to remain in that state. Now, I know that it's life. It happens. Right. We all go through things. Right. Situations come. That's right. Um, you know, we uh, just like we, we're not impervious to the elements outside. But we're, our, we're, we're living organisms and things happen. But the great news is, I like what you said, the great news is, is that because he risen, he's risen yes. and did all that for us, yes. we have been to above that. Right. So I'm sharing that with you. Oh. I like that. It's, yes, yes. You froze, but I still, we still hear you. Yes. There you go. There you go. Okay. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and when I thought about this earlier, I thought about the woman at the well and John. Um, yes. I just thought about the well. I thought about the well representing grace, peace, right. joy of the Lord, salvation, deliverance for that woman. You know, being with five mm -hmm. men and the one she was with wasn't a husband that she was dwelling with now. But just when he was right. like, if you knew who I were, <laughs> right? Come when on, I preach. give you this water, <laughs> this well for me, when I give you this, you will never thirst. Wow. So like Jesus, just everything that we need is in him. Yes. You, you don't have to feel lonely. Now, I'm not saying we'll get moments of loneliness. I'm not talking about that. I'm yes. saying that God is with you. Emmanuel, with God us. with us, Jesus, all of that. He'll take, he'll help fulfill voids in our life, right? Because mm -hmm. she was yes. thirsting for something. Now, I ain't going to go into that because then that'd be like another message. But we're thirsty yeah. for something. We're missing something. We, we're in a fallen state. Man is in a fallen state. We need, yes, a, we, are. we need a healer. We need someone to save us. We need restoring. We need we needed to be reconciled back with the father. And with yes. all of that. And so I just thought about her, her life story. Just and, and somebody can resonate with that story. Her searching and looking and feeling a void, you know, relationship, yes. relationship. And, and not only not her now, you got those men, because we don't talk about the men, but that's a whole nother thing. What their issue is. But anyway, um, just to meet him, the fact that she met him and then you get excited, she went. She had to tell somebody, I met a man at the well, but just who Jesus was at that moment. It's like when she ran into him, she didn't have to thirst anymore. Everything she no. was looking for, everything she needed was in him. So I just thought about her in representation of all of us who needed something, who needed to be healed or delivered, her lifestyle, whatever she's gone through, her hurt. This is not, this is not even against her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is just about, yes. it's just symbolic for 
any situation we find ourselves in where we we are needed, we are lacking, and Jesus fulfills, he fulfilled that deficit. You understand? So you, you I, know, hmm. Yes. In, in addition to that, also, the, the awesome thing is that he sent her back with a message. Hmm. And when he, she went back to town, she sounded off in the entire town. And remember, the entire town came mm -hmm. to the state. But the, 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 the fact that God gave her exactly what she was looking for, because she was searching, like you That's said, right. she was searching. Right, right. Jesus ministered to her, and then she became a missionary. Yes. <laughs> she began yes. to speak out to the people. And that's people right. came, you know, so that's that's the kind of God we serve. God always has an answer. That's right. And so he gave her an answer. She became a preacher, saved her whole household and the whole community. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Let's pay it forward. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm so happy, too, for those of you who are tuned in, who are catching us live and who catch the replay. Right, right, right. Um, this is like our fellowship hour or whatever. I don't even say hour because I don't even know. I'm just, we just... This is our first episode doing this thing, but we just want to let God lead us. We right, come right, right. For, we come in name for, but right now we are basically fellowshipping. We fellowshipping with you and we hope to bring messages of hope and restoration and pray that God speaks through to through us to you and minister yes. to you and meet you at the point in the place of your need. Like he does with all of us, like that woman he met at the Amen. point of her need. We can go on and on about all the people we have such a great cloud of witnesses in this book alone yes, we do. We, that God yeah, has helped, has saved, has delivered, has healed, has risen, raised up from mm -hmm. the backside of the desert, from the least in there who felt like was they was the least in their father's house. I mean, there's so many countless stories, but no, you yes. know, but you know what the great story is, honey? Our story. Yes. We have our own testimony. We have our own witness. story of what God has done for us individually. We are like, oh, yes. wretched. My God. Yes. Some of the things we don't even, nobody even knows. There's stuff that nobody knows between, it's between you and God that he might have That's helped it. you from or that you need help from. And we come to let you know Jesus is the answer. And the times we yes, live in, he's always been the answer. But right now, yes. we need our hope restored. We need courage. <clears throat> A lot of us need to be, our, our joy to be restored peace mm -hmm. to be restored and yes. our spiritual internal natural peace as well as spiritual but we need that to be restored because it's so easy to get lost especially yes. those of us who's been out of church honey a lot of a lot of us can be out you know outside of the local body of church because we still have the word in us and we're meditating we're reading but then there's some yes. some of us who are still like babes where we still at that place where we need that fellowship you know, Absolutely, yeah. To keep us strong because it can be easy for them to backslide. Because they easy, see yeah. Because the you know we come together because we strengthen one another. We build yes, up each yes. other more fully faith. So I want this to be that, like a vehicle or a place that people can still get some kind of fellowship with mm -hmm. you know, other people of God, and then people who's yes. just like them. They they try. We all trying to grow, but I know we at different levels. Some people just came to know Christ today. Yeah. Yesterday or 20, 40, 50 years ago. So we had different points yeah. as far as our relationship with him. But mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to be that forum like that. And that's, if anybody too have anything to say in a chat, you can put something in a chat. You can you can leave a commentary or a question mm -hmm. or whatever. And we really want to try to do this um, every Sunday as much as we can. Yeah, keep, keep in mind everyone, This we freestyling in the word. This yeah. is not anything formal. We're not trying yeah. to... We just coming coming at you just as as we are. This is we just talking. We just fellowshipping. Almost like we're in a room. We're just in a virtual room. That, <laughs> we're just sharing. Are. That's what we do. Yeah. You make them want something to say. Uh, so it's it's. Uh, yeah, cause they can put it right in the chat. They sure can. Mm hmm So holla holla back at your bro and your sis, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we just sharing out here. Uh, let me just <clears> again. Uh, All right. Shit on the page. Join us live. Join us live. I saw my cousin Shelly join. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some other people. And sometimes we don't see the rest okay. until. All yeah, right. Off. Yeah, but this I is can't see it on my end. I don't know. They're in your page or what? I, don't, I can't see on my end. Well, what happened when I went <laughs> to um, I went to Healing for Your Soul Ministry? It's, it's going to be on Healing for mm -hmm. Your Soul Ministry page, and it mm -hmm. should be her name, and then likes or whatever 
Um, okay. So I just scrolled down to that because I actually shared it on my Facebook regular page too. I clicked okay. the share button and then uh, on that live video. So is it live right now? Yep, it's live right now. On, on what channel? What channel? It's on Healing for Your Soul Ministries page. Okay. On ministry okay. page, Healing for Your Soul Ministries. And you can see it says, join us live. Oh, I see oh. it right there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and yep, and you can share. Yeah. But um, that was good. Um, we just introduced Christ. <laughs> That's all. This is this is just an introduction to Christ. Listen, everybody who's listening, listen. God loves you. He has an awesome plan for you. He has an awesome outlook on your life. Yes. You just need to come. For those of you who, who are thinking and contemplating what to do, just come. Just come to the Lord because, listen, he has something special for you. So yes. we're just giving a great, awesome invite to all those who are out there listening. Those of you who are saved, keep keep standing in the race. Keep pushing because God's not finished with you yet. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, so that was like altar call. And all you really have to do is say, Jesus, I receive this, my Lord and Savior. This is all you got to do. Fill me. I receive the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Help me. First of all, I repent for all of your sins. God, you know, forgive me for all of my sins and know that mm -hmm. God will forget all of your sins and throw them into a sea of forgetfulness that he don't bring mm -hmm. them up anymore. You have a, yes. a, a new slate is wiped clean. You have a new beginning, mm -hmm. You're putting on new clothes, new wine skins. You putting on the mind of Christ. You putting on the spirit mm -hmm. of Christ so you can walk in the newness of life. And then going forward, you will begin to walk in different right. And it's a process. And, it's, and it's what I love about the spirit Thank is that we work on our salvation with fear and trembling every right. day. We work on our yes. salvation. And the, long, the yes. more you pray and you long for that, he will put people in your life to help nurture that and help you grow You know, together. That's what church and fellowship is all about growing together yes. in the Lord, knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And mm -hmm. you just begin to think differently, right, honey? You begin to speak differently. Like, let God yes. do the work. Let the word do the work. When you read the word, that's what it's for. It's, a, it, it, it's, it's not for naught or just vain that the scripture says the word is like a, is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. The word is right. like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. The word is like yes. fire shut up in our bones. It's powerful. It's yes. sharper than any two-edged sword. It's a discerner of the intent. I mean, it's so powerful. It changes. It yes. transforms. We are witnesses here. Transforms the mind. Um, heals mm -hmm. the mind. Lift depression. Remove sickness and pain. Emotional pain. Physical pain. But most of yes. all, soul. Like getting our souls mm -hmm. right. Saving us. It's, we always talk about it's to the utmost that Jesus saves. But to the uttermost, he saves you. Mm. I mean, you can come listen to people's testimony. I love people's testimony. Just how God just changes them from a complete, total, different, to a different person, like a 180 degree. Like when we say we looked at our hands and they look new, we looked at our feet. It's mm. like he changes us really. And you can look back sometime at your old person and go, oh my God. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And it's you know, like, I wish I would have known him. I wish I would have knew this way before. But go ahead, honey. <laughs> no, one thing that, that's very good, honey. One thing that people have to know that you are not you are not unsalv unsalvageable material. You there's no valley too deep that God can't dig you out of. So don't think that the grace of God and the mercy of God can't grab you and pull you up where you where you need to be. That's right. And that's why we present the gospel on a simple level. That's right. Like like Pastor Cheryl said. You're not unfetchable, for lack of a better term. Yeah. God loves you and God can save you and God can give you that future you're looking for. Yes. So don't think that you're beyond the grasp of God because you're not. So we just employ you to call out to Jesus. Listen, if anybody know about calling out to God, sure and I know about that. That's <laughs> We've right. We've seen people. So just open your mouth. Very simply say, God, here I am. Yes. Him, here I am with all my mess, all yeah. my situation, all my all my can't help us, all my falling, snake, yeah. all that. Here I am, God. What can you do with me? And watch God blow your mind. Yes. He sure watch will. God blow your mind. He <laughs> sure will. <laughs> he will blow your mind. You'll stop. Yes. <laughs> and that's why that woman was like, excited, right? She had to go and tell somebody, right. I'm not, what right. did I tell you? <laughs> 
Because that's like, you, know, like that, you know, that zeal you have in the beginning. You want everybody to be saved. I need everybody to know Jesus. Right, <laughs> right, right. He right. relaxes you in, in a way where you just be able to witness, you know, using wisdom and all the other kind of stuff. But the excitement is just awesome. And just, we want everybody to experience that fire, that excitement yeah. of God knowing him yeah. and being able to yeah. come back and go, oh my God, let me, let me, let me, I'm like, now you're the man and woman at the well. Let me tell you about this person who saved me. Let me tell right. you about the one who was spoken of, Jesus, mm -hmm. the Messiah, the one to come, the Redeemer, the one to come to yes. save God's people, the Deliverer to come, the promise, keep, oh my God, let me tell you about also, this oh my God, let me tell you. So sometimes Also show the, <laughs> yes, also, not to cut you, I'm sorry, honey. Okay. The thing is, is when Jesus began to remind her of her past, he didn't condemn her. He, right. He did not condemn her. He did not. He rather encouraged her yes. to do better. Yes. So God, this is not about condemning anybody here. <laughs> I love that scripture. That's why we, why we got our own story. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. No, no. I, 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 we tag team. Yes, he, he didn't condemn her. He just, he spoke yeah, he over did. her life. He gave her great yes. knowledge, right? He let her know, yes. this is your situation. Right. Drink this water. You will never thirst right. again. Never, never thirst again. again. Hallelujah to Jesus. I hey, love man, you. I believe her life was... I believe her life was never the same after that. Never. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> go Matter of fact, she might have went back to the house and said, all right, you can go now. I'm good. <laughs> right. <laughs> you got to Amen. go. You got Praise to leave. God. And that's what God would do, right? And it may not have happened Absolutely. overnight. But after a while, God stopped working on you. You want more of him and, and mm -hmm. other stuff in your life that don't align. That's when you start doing the mm -hmm. cleansing, the detox. Yes. The delete, delete. Yes. All of that stuff yes. needs to happen. This is the newness you'll see. You don't feel comfortable yes. any longer in your sin. You start to feel right, convicted. Right. You, you just can't, right. you, you can't rationalize the way you used to rationalize it. And after a while, you just yes. desire because you get tired. You you get to the point where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of the same old life. And it's come how on, much it weighs on us, right? How much is heavy is weight. That's why we cast our cares upon him. He does really care yes. for us. And he does. He does. over to him. Oh my God. And you start looking at me like, why well, I didn't do this a long time ago? But we know how we are. You know, we sometimes we're hard headed. We got to, because we have yeah, heard, yeah, we've yeah. heard the good news before. Sometimes we reject yes. it because our flesh yes. wants what it wants, right? But but that's where mercy and grace coming at. It does. That's what she found it mercy does. and grace at that well. Mercy at and that well. grace at that well. And a word. <laughs> and, and a word. <laughs> and a word. A, a change. <laughs> Sing that song. He looked at my hands and they looked new. He looked at my feet. <laughs> I just love that song for that. But it's so true. It's yeah. like when you experience that, it's like, I am. I'm, I'm new. Mm -hmm. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you got to speak um, that to yourself, I don't care if the, the enemy, now the enemy will try to come back and condemn you, right, honey? Right. Yes, he will. He'll try to remind you. Bad. God don't love He'll try you. To Go ahead, honey. Absolutely. Yeah, he'll try to remind you of your past. You just remind him of his future. That's all you do. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Lord, I love it. Him. Remind remember. him of his future. Yeah. I know that's right, but I'm telling you, yeah. he will try to come and convict you. Uh uh. You did yes. this. You did that. Yep. And God threw it mm -hmm. in forgetfulness. And guess what the Bible says? He said, I am a, yes. I am a new creature. Old things that's pass right. away. Behold, all things become new. Have you not, look, have you not conceived? <laughs> that's right. You have to speak and know who you are. Even if you still yes. dealing with these core issues of feeling unworthy, and you just speak yes. God's word of who God says you are, the new creature, That's right. big ass with Christ That's right. Jesus. Okay, there's mm -hmm. no male, no female, no Hebrew, no Greek. God loves each and every one of us. There's no higher yes. He loves each and every one of us. No. I don't get Gentile, Jew, whatever. <laughs> He's calling you. So this is for somebody today. I don't know who you know mm -hmm. who you are, but you needed to hear this. You needed to be here. Yes. You needed to be in the room. I thank God that we have a room for you to come into. I thank God for using us 
I thank God for yes. your presence. I thank God for his power. Hallelujah. To yes. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God yes. for being a lamb of God. I thank God for dying for us on the cross. I thank God for being a kinsman redeemer. I thank God for thank being you, restorer, for being Jesus, yes. Yeshua, the promise. Oh my God. I thank God that through his blood that he shed on Calvary, that we can be saved and that we can inherit the promises of God. I thank God that he yes. is not only his son. He loved the, first of all, loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever Again. believeth in him shall not perish but have yes. everlasting life so like i say when yes. this life pass we have eternal yeah. life and i thank god yes. for that good news that is the that's really good news and that's what we really yes. want to share come on somebody the good news the good news the yes. good news the good news yes. what greater news than the, the fact that the father loved you so much come he on. provided a way for you to come out Away. And be with him for eternity in heaven. But you got to receive it through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That's the word. Amen. God, Praise God. You saved. If you have set Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, yes. you are saved. Period. You are saved. Period. Yes. So we thank That's God it. for that. We thank God for that. We thank God for your presence. I hope you join us again as we go live. And next time we want to try to go live on YouTube and Facebook. But um, because it's just time to get this message out, honey. I just want yes. the nations. The nation is on is on social media. The nations is on the internet and the streets, yeah. the highway, the hedges, yes. and the social media streets. <laughs> yes, hitting the masses. That's that's what we're doing. Hitting, hitting the, the masses. masses. Amen. Yes. So absolutely, we can pray out, honey, and end this broadcast. And thanks everybody for joining us. Okay, Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for all the yes. participators, oh God, all the spectators, all the lookers. We pray, God, that this word is going to cross, Lord God, the the yes. earth. Yes. All that here, Lord God, will receive in Jesus' name that you be glorified. <clears throat> we also ask, oh God, you would pour your blessing down upon those who are looking and seeking. We yes. pray healing upon those who are sick. And we thank you, oh God, that you're working a mighty work in the earth right now. And we praise you and we thank you for it being already done in Jesus' name, oh God. We pray. Glory to God. Amen, amen, and amen. amen. Praise the Lord. All right, we are tuning off and we'll be back next week. God willingly. Be back in next week, y'all. Peace out.